my favourite looks from our autumn winter shoot was the Studio 54 meets the 1940s. Really easy to create. We popped on some of the Kevin R. Kwan's tinted moisturiser. It's fantastic this one because it's matte, which really sets off all the gloss and sparkle that goes with the makeup. And now we're going to go with the By Terry Hyaluronic Eye Primer. This is fantastic because it creates a really nice smooth base to put on your eye makeup. It acts as like a little highlighter as well, so it really is great for sort of blending in the eyeshadow and getting it to fade off up into the brow. I'm going to brush up these beautiful brows of Laura's. This is really important because it adds real structure to your face and as you can see it gives a real lift to the eye. Okay, so we're going to apply a wash of colour with Bronze Moon The Umber Black Star by By Terry. It's beautiful. I just love this colour so much. It's very of the moment. You have to work quite quickly with this eyeshadow because it can set, but once it has set, it stays there all day. Working on one eye at a time and then literally blend it through until you get this lovely sheer wash of colour. You can even do this and brush it right up into your eye crease and just slightly over. And with a smaller brush, something like the Space NK Concealer brush is perfect for underneath the eye because you have a little bit more control and just crush that into the lower lash line. And then with a clean brush, just keep blending. There's no sharp edges here, it's very soft and romantic. I'm just now going underneath the eye with a little bit of touche velouté and this almost acts as a little bit of a highlight as you can see if you just pat a bit around the top of the cheekbones and under the eye it really frames the shadow. I'm just going to use a little bit of the By Terry Hyaluronic Face Powder just so we can give a nice base to just add a little bit of the blush and contour. So we're using Kevin Arquan's Candlelight along the cheekbones just again, give it an extra little bit of punch and then just going to chisel out the face again with the Celestial Powder, the Bronzing Veil. And we do this with a very light hand because the red lips transform and create the whole look. I'm going to leave the blusher till last because I'd like to apply that after I've done the lips because it, that's how you can really judge how much blush you really need because the lipstick really does illuminate your face. I'm going to have a little spritz over all these different powders and just gently pat that into the skin and it just revives makeup. Now for the mascara. We're not going to go too crazily heavy. I think that the whole thing is to still try and keep Laura's eyes quite open, but we definitely want a few lovely thin coats of it just to frame her eyes. But I think one of the things that keeps this look really modern is to actually not go too heavy on the mascara. It still keeps that innocence to the eye. And just do a little on the lower lashes, don't really overload your lower lash. A really light dusting of the hyaluronic powder, so you don't want any grease around the mouth. If there's any grease around the mouth, then the, your lips will have a tendency to feather more quickly. Just overline the lips with the Lipstick Queen Invisible Lip Liner, but it also adds another little highlight to the lips. So if you can just concentrate on the cupid's bow, the lower lip, because of its silicone formula, it really helps prevent the bleeding. A great way to give lip staying power is actually to line your whole lip in lip liner. And I really fell in love with these on the shoot. The texture of these lip liners are amazing by Lipstick Queen. So we're going to do the entire lip in red on Laura. One of the things that I noticed this season that's really key to this look is to actually not overline the lips. It's all about keeping the lips quite sort of rosebuddy, very pretty. Now we're going to go in with the brand new Lipstick Queen lipstick called Brat Pack. The texture of this is like velvet, it's beautiful. So again, with your lip brush, just apply the lipstick within your lip line. Yeah, this has come from the Velvet Rope collection. There's a whole collection of beautiful colours. It's got a real sort of peppermint taste and aroma to it, which is lovely, I think. This is a new ingredient to Lipstick Queen called Silicon Elastoma. Well, that's definitely what's making it really comfortable, giving this really beautiful texture while having no compromise on the colour whatsoever. It's just amazing. What I've chosen here is the blusher from Shantikai's new Wild Horses palette. It's beautiful. It's just that perfect little pink flush of colour. So we're just going to pop a little bit of gloss, mainly on the centre part of Laura's lips. And this way you really get to keep the gloss controlled and yet you get that effect. And there we have it, all ready for Darren to come and get the curls out.